Hello everyone, welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Today I'll show you how you can make your web page automatically scroll smoothly from top to bottom while you're recording your screen to create a demo. I have picked this template from bootstrapmate.com just for demonstration. But let's assume this is your cool new website and you want to give a demo to your friends or client or manager or just show off on social media. Normally, you would start your screen recording and manually scroll through the page like this, right? You notice this doesn't give the best experience. It's jerky. So adding a few lines of JavaScript can do this. Just hit enter and the page keeps scrolling. You don't have to do anything. Smooth, isn't it? Want to stop for a few seconds to focus on this section? Just hit enter again. It pauses. Restart with enter key whenever you like. How did I do this? Here's a piece of JavaScript code that I have pasted just before closing the body tag. You can paste this on any HTML page that you wish to auto scroll. But don't forget to remove it once the recording is done. You don't want your user to accidentally hit enter and see it scrolling. Now, if you just want to grab this code and start using it right away, it's available here on CodePen. Just copy this JS code and paste it within script tags like this. You can find this code pen link in the description below. But if you want to learn how this works and how you can make some modifications, customizations, stick with me for the next few minutes. First, let's remove all this code and start with empty script tags. We need to use the window.scrollby method of JavaScript. This is the documentation. As you can see, it takes in two parameters, X and Y coordinates to scroll the web page horizontally and vertically from the current position. This method actually makes the page jump by that many units specified by the coordinates. Let's see an example. Window dot scroll by X. Let's keep it zero because we don't want to scroll horizontally and Y just for example, I'll give 200. And let's just save this and refresh and see what happens. So if you just refresh the page, you see it just jumped by 200 pixels. Scroll up, refresh again. Yeah, so it just jumped by 200 pixels. But what we want is we want this to scroll smoothly from top to bottom. For this, there's a little hack. All we need to do is jump by two pixels at a time and use the set interval method to keep jumping, right? This actually gives the effect of smooth scrolling. So let's copy this code from here. And instead of alert, we will add window.scrollby and change this to two. Also change the interval to 10 and not 3000. That is the milliseconds. So every 10 milliseconds, we are scrolling it by two pixels. Now check, you see, it smoothly scrolls. That's great, it works. But do you see it doesn't stop? So let's make two functions. One start scroll and one more stop scroll. Function start scroll. And that's where I add this entire code. Then function stop scroll. But how do you stop this set interval function? There's a method, it's called clear interval. So clear interval, but it actually takes a parameter which is the ID of the interval, for which we need to know the ID. So let ID equals set interval and so on. We'll make this function return this ID. So return ID. At the beginning, let's define a variable scroller ID. Here, let's assign the scroller ID to start scroll. And here, clear interval scroller ID. Simple. Now, this is what makes the page scroll, start scrolling. But we are actually not calling the stop scroll method anywhere. So let's call this function when the enter key is pressed, for which we use document.body.addEventListener 
and we are listening to key press. Function. Within this, we need to check if the key pressed is the enter key. So if event dot which equals equals 13, this is the code for enter key, or event dot key code equals equals 13, you can Google this stuff if you don't understand. Now, when this happens, we know that the enter key is pressed. So stop scrolling. Let's see how this works. Refresh the page. It starts scrolling, hit the enter key, and there it stops. Great. But how do we restart? Let's use a flag paused, which will be set to true if it's paused, otherwise false. So let paused equals true, because we want to start with not scrolling, and you want to be able to start whenever you wish. And here, we first check if paused is true, then start scrolling. Else, stop scroll. But also, once you start scrolling, you need to set the paused variable to false, right? So, paused equals false. And here, paused equals true. Also, we need to remove this line because we want to start scrolling only when the enter key is pressed. So replace this with this line. This should work. You can check for yourself. Now, we have one issue. When the end of the page is reached, if you scroll back up, it continues scrolling. Actually, it should stop, right? So let's check if the end of page is reached and stop scrolling. How do we do that? We need to check if this height plus the amount the page has scrolled is equal to the entire document height. And we do that inside the start, start scrolling function. So if window dot inner height, this is the viewport height, the amount that you're able to see, plus window dot scroll by the amount it has scrolled equals document dot body dot offset height. Now, if this is the case, that means end of page is reached. Stop scrolling. Let's check if this works. Go back, refresh the page. It's the end of the page, start scrolling. Go back up. Yeah, great, it has stopped. Now this page is scrolling at a medium speed. Let's say you want to edit that, you wanna make it slower or faster. Go back to the code. And you see 10 here, right, which is the interval. Now, if you increase the interval, it will slow down. And if you reduce it, it'll, it'll get faster. So let's actually define a speed variable. And let's set it to 3 to begin with. So 1 would be fast, 2 would be medium, and 3 would be slow. Let interval equals speed into 5. This is because intervals of 5, 10 and 15 work the best. You can really customize it and set any value as you wish. So now we change this 10 to interval. Let's check if this works. Refresh the page. Enter. Yes, this is scrolling slowly because we set the speed to 3. Now change it to 1 and hit enter. You see, this is scrolling much faster. So, like I said, you can customize this to any number as you wish. And there are more things you can customize here. Say, for example, you don't want enter key. You want another key. So, feel free to change this line. Use the code for another key and then it changes. For that, you can simply go to this link, check the values of whichever key you wish to use. I have included this link also in the description below. So pick up any key. Say for example, you want to use the end or you want to use page down. You can replace this 13 with that value and that's it. Or let's say you don't even want the key press. You want the page to start scrolling on the click of a mouse. Simple. 
change this key press to click and remove the if statement save it now refresh and click yes it starts scrolling click and stop this is it now go make those awesome demos and flaunt your new website design thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.